Cutting onions is a painful experience. Everybody knows that. But what if you could weaponize it? Why use onions though? Well, after the impending collapse of society because, I don't know, meta requires the military industrial complex, onions are gonna be your only shot at sustainably making some kind of tear gas deterrent weapon sort of deal. But first, how do they make you cry? I am so sorry, are you all right? <laughs> Oh, you didn't get that. Okay, okay, one more time, just for you, ready? So onions absorb sulfur from the ground to make funky chemicals, and that stops animals from having a little nibble out of them. <laughs> but unluckily for onions, that makes them very tasty for humans. Ah! <laughs> Unlucky for humans, though, when you cut up an onion, magical chemicals make this, I mean, Make this. <laughs> and this just instantly evaporates into the air, into your eyes. Just look at this. Look at it. This this looks painful. Like, it's literally got pain in its name. So let's figure out a way to maximise the amount of onion juice in the air. To, to maximise pain. pain. Uh, to cut onions without crying. So let's just do the complete opposite of what they say. Starting with tip one. Chill the onions. Tip two. Fan away the fumes. <laughs> tip three. Cut it under cold water. Oh, I'm cutting it above cold water. <laughs> <laughs> Tip four, use a sharp knife. <laughs> oh God, I'm starting to feel it now, Mr. Krebs. Tip five, work on your knife skills. What's the opposite of working on your knife skills? Nunchuck skills, I don't know. Now we just need to find a way to kind of collect all that onion air and then put it into a bullet and then shoot that bullet across the room. There's a cool thing, it's called a vortex cannon and it does exactly that. Meanwhile... Let's build one, shall we? You think if we tried to take it back that, uh, notice the big hole in there? See, this is why you should have paid attention during uh, primary school science, because I'm just building it from what I remember back then. We're making the diaphragm here. <laughs> oh my god, no that nearly- We bought a smoke machine to visualise it and if I'd known how cheap smoke machines, I would have bought one years ago. Now for the main show. I've tried a few things and just blending an onion seems to be the most tear inducing method I've found. So we're gonna grab a stick blender and ram it into the onions to, uh, yeah, you, you get the point there. This feels like one of those five minute craft life hack videos. Don't buy a $50 Dremel, buy a $15 stick blender and cut the guard off. Try not to cut your fingers off. My baby. This is a freaking death trap. This feels like some sort of a torture device. Ah, oh, bugger. How did I cut it that badly? Oh, I'm just gonna close it. 
I really wanted to automate this whole thing and, and hook it up to one of these axes that I stole from a printer. But if we can manually do it by hand, I, I think it's funnier. <laughs> Actually, no, my eyes are like, it's just that normal, oh, it's, it's like the really, oh my god. Oh, I just rubbed my f***ing eyes. I'm the, I'm the biggest baby when it comes, oh, <laughs> I can't even finish the sentence. I'm the biggest baby when it comes to onions, so I am not like a good judge for this. Let's put it all together. So, you put your onions in the tube here. Turn on the blender and then, well, uh, blend the onions. Then the onion tear gas will hopefully come out those holes there, fill the chamber. Then we can shoot that chamber of air at an unsuspecting victim. This is literally the biggest brain idea in all of existence. Speaking of unsuspecting victims, I gathered a few of my mates to test this on under the premise that we were just gonna watch some sad kid cartoons for a skit. Little did they know, chicanery was afoot. So we started off with some easy ones just to get the ball rolling. But despite ramping up the difficulty, we still had no tears. No. <laughs> Maybe it was the mysterious object hiding under the blanket that I was very suspiciously preparing. Then in the third round, I let the cat out of the bag and I will say, it was a f***ing terrible failure. I mean, I mean, this thing really, really didn't work. Not even a single damn tear was shed. Not even when the king himself crashed on the final lap. The best we got was mild eye irritation, and those with glasses were practically unharmed, which leads me to believe I might have accidentally been shooting bits of onion juice at people, and instead the onion tear gas was just evaporating away. Or maybe all people with glasses are just hardened m <laughs> from years of four-eye jokes. Yeah, uh, massive failure, possibly for a lot of reasons, but I was not ready to call it quits, and I at least wanted some tears. So I noticed there was this like onion oil leaking out of the cannon and it was really potent. Like eyes burning within a few seconds potent. So I reckon if you were to drench somebody in a whole heap of this, it would be an effective deterrent. So let's just go and make some more onion oil. Oh, and then find a way to kindly deliver it to someone's entire outer surface area. This is really janky. Uh, well, uh, Give me all your, your big bucks. If I was charging you and I was trying to mug you, genuinely go full out with that thing. Ready? Yep. Give me all your, your cash. Give me all your... Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> give me all Give me Give me all your... Oh, oh, my, my eyes are just closed. <laughs> Just throw it on me. <laughs> oh, your money. No. <laughs> My eyes are burning, but not as bad. No, this this wouldn't have stopped me. I, I would still be mugging you right now. But the directly in the eyes, that stung. That stung so much. <laughs> oh. So, what did we learn? Maybe not every great idea is a great idea, and some prototyping might be in order. Painful onion fumes evaporate very quickly and don't work that well outdoors either. Onion oil in the eyes is a nearly instant immobilizer, but I think most liquids would do the trick as well. And finally, if you plan to raid my post-apocalyptic base, you should probably bring a spare pair of glasses. As always, thanks for watching.